Um, good afternoon, guys. I recently got this Satechi um, M1 wireless mouse. I'm going to open it. it cost me around um, $31, $32. So we're going to see how good it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. I don't got a tripod, so I have to do it with one hand. The feel is pretty, pretty good. Um, well, the plastic seems kind of cheap, but the click feels pretty nice. It's not that really aligned. The central ball is not really aligned, so I would say that it, it doesn't... Um, It's not worth the price, um, but well, we're I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try to sync it with my iPad. That's the most important part. That's what I want it for. It has, um, it's a US, USB, USB-A to USB-C. So you're gonna be able to connect it uh, directly to a MacBook Pro. Um, so also that's what I, what I have, what I want it for. All right, I don't know if it has battery, but we're gonna try it out. All right, I'm gonna switch it on. I guess it's searching for the Bluetooth. So let's see if it appears. On the iPad. Okay. Now you guys see it. Let's click on it. Let's pair. It says connected. So all right, I get a mouse for the iPad now. Um, let's scroll on the web page on Safari. Let's look for eBay. eBay.com. Okay, let's search purchase history. That's how much it cost me, $33. So working pretty good and the surface is pretty shiny. So it's good that it, that it, um, that it, it can detect the scrolling. The surface is pretty shiny. So a good, good part of the mouse is that it can scroll on a shiny surface. Most mouses don't, don't scroll on, on shiny surfaces. Although this one has many different colors, so maybe that helps a lot. Um, I was also maybe trying to use, I would like to look at my Google Drive. Okay, I need to get the hang of switching the pages on the iPad. Okay, here's the drive. I want to see how it works on a on a Google document. All right, yeah, seems pretty accurate for selecting. Let's see, oh, it's pretty. It works works pretty good on the iPad. Not that bad. So, I would say because of the plastic and the, the, the central scroll, that it's not pretty good aligned. Um, on design, I would give it 
uh, 6.6 um, and on the usage usage I would I would give it uh, maybe a 7.5 I mean it works pretty good but I just don't like the feel of it um, I don't like that the buttons seem pretty cheap the mouse seems pretty cheap but well gets the job done so that's pretty that's pretty good that's enough for me all right guys have a good day same review on the satechi mouse now i'm going to try to connect it on the macbook pro 2020 we got the connector here in front of it Okay, it's connected. Let's see if it detects it. I guess not. I guess it's only gonna work on Bluetooth. It's actually, the blue light is actually flashing. So let's check it out. Hasn't been detected yet. Now let's click on the blue flashing button. Okay, now it's blinking a lot quicker. I guess it's gonna have to show. Okay, now it appeared. It says connected, okay, it's working working pretty good and charging I guess it doesn't show let's see if it shows um, how much battery percentage let's see if we see something in mouse no set up Bluetooth mouth well, I guess this is only for the Apple mouse this one's working pretty good. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll still gonna charge it. I'm gonna charge it for maybe a um, couple of hours. The good thing is you can be charging it and using it. And that's what I liked about it. That it has a built-in battery. And also, wow guys, it's, 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 oh, I was just gonna say it's made in San Diego, but no, it is made in China. So, okay, another item that's not made in the US. All right, guys, so I'll let you know if, if, if anything goes wrong with the mouse, but the review, I'll give it a 7.5 because of the bad design. Um, I, I really like it a lot. I think it's too small, but we'll see how it goes.